Hello and welcome. Well, today we're going to build a CBN grinder. Uh, if you're not familiar with CBN, it's an amazing material for grinding high-speed steel and tool steel. It's not good for carbide. It'll grind carbide, but it's not really hard enough. Uh, and mild steel will clog the stone up. But the neat thing about it is it doesn't wear out. Uh, those of you that have been following me for a while may remember I built another grinder. Uh, it still works good, but it's got some des design issues and I was wanting a little finer grit. So we're going to build another grinder today. Let's get started. Well, I got this motor here. It's actually a pretty unique motor. Totally sealed. It's a... Uh, gas pump motor. It's 1750 which is the RPM I want. And I'm going to mount it vertical like this. I don't really know if it's designed to mount vertical but I suspect it'll be fine. I'll mount it about right there. And this is a, a 3 8 steel plate there that I'm mounting everything on but I'm going to mount this plate right there and mount the motor to it. So that'll be the position of the motor. And then right here Got a piece of 3x3 three three square tubing. I'm going to use this shaft for my... Uh, I'm going to make a mandrel, more or less. I'm going to bore a hole in here, weld it in there, and I'm going to do something kind of unique here. Maybe cut a curve right there and put a cap on it where it'll look a little decorative. But that's going to be my mandrel. In other words, that's how far apart the... Uh, uh, stones are going to be and it's going to be mounted right there inside that. So I think the first thing we need to do and I've never done anything like this before is I'm going to cut a curve in here and then bend that over and then cut the back of this out for my the pulley will be inside the square tubing. But anyway it'll make more sense as we get going on it. So first thing I need to do is Figure out how to cut that curve in there. If this is going to work or not. I noticed I put the seam on this side. I probably should have put the seam on the back side. But yeah, we'll see. This may not work at all. Hmm. A little better than I expected, actually. If I can fill that into the world. I like it. did good on the first half. That half looks a little ugly, but it'll grind off of there and look good.
that's it. Okay. That will be welded in there. And then I'm going to cut the tube in between and cut the back side of this. Cut bearing fits in here first. Put a three quarter inch shaft through here and put the pulley back here going back to the motor. And it will be a polycord or polyurethane round belt and it will be twisted to be powered by the motor. Uh, this is a really versatile belt. It's not rated for high horsepower, but one third horsepower is no problem. Hopefully. <laughs> to do this, we're going <clears> to <throat> have to use the uh, steady rest on my on my lathe. gives it a little style. Now we got to cut this out right there and cut the tube out in there. I'm going to do that with the mill. Well, I got this end mill for five dollars, half inch end mill. If it cuts through all this, it's done good. Well, that end mill's got one little chip right there all the way around. Probably where that thing got... Oh, who knows what it was from. I'm going to give that a, a passing grade there. That was a pretty good, pretty good amount of milling. Okay, let's see if I can explain this. Pretend this is my tool rest. If I make a pivot below the tool rest, when I change the angle, it moves away from the stone, the grinding wheel. So in order to get it to where it maintains that same space and drops down, the pivot point has to be right on that corner. So that it doesn't come away from the, the stone or change clearance. Of course, I'll have to relief the bottom side of the tool, tool rest. But to do that, and this is not 
what I'm going to use, but this is just an example. I'm going to mill a bar down halfway through plus the thickness of my tool rest, so it'll be like like that. And then I'm going to mount it right here so that my tool rest stays uh, the same distance from the stone when I change the angle of it. So to do that, this is what I'm going to make this bracket out of, and this bar right here is going to go through it. And that bar is going to have that flat in the end of it. But, I don't have the stone yet. I made this template, the six inches, and the stone is supposed to be six inches too. But if I, if I was to weld that right there, even though that's the center point, I might be a little bit off. So I'm going to weld it to this and go just inside and then make slot this piece of steel here so that if I need to change the center point I can just drop it down. Now the effect will be instead of right here it'll be down here but it'll it'll still you'll still be able to achieve the same angle to the stone. So anyway that probably didn't make any sense, but if it didn't make any sense, you'll just have to watch and see what happens. The stone is much smaller, it's probably going to be a little bit off. Hopefully the stone is six inches or slightly larger. If it's six inches it should work good. I like it. Well that about wraps it up for today. Next episode we'll uh, weld a mounting bracket to the bottom of this and weld up a motor mount and make the spindle and maybe we'll have the uh, grinding wheels by then and uh, get this thing working. May end up being three episodes and over there is a piece of wood. A piece of white oak. I think I'm going to make it out of that. Make the base out of that instead of this steel. Uh, going to end up being pretty heavy and this steel just adds about another 30 pounds to it so anyway uh, somebody uh, somebody's probably going to ask why didn't you just go get a Harbor Freight uh, grinder motor something cheap they're probably less than a hundred bucks well first of all it wouldn't be any fun second I don't think the uh, 
I'm hoping the uh, tool rest for this will be far superior than the standard grinder. Hopefully. Anyway, that about wraps it up for today. Thanks for joining me. Be sure and subscribe and ring that bell.